Welcome to Survive. Survive is a text-based survival game, and like most other survival games, your main objective is to just keep yourself healthy and get to safety. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and start a new game, and we're gonna go to Pike Lake. It's the easiest mode, but it's still pretty hard for me. Maybe wasn't the best idea to drive to Pike Lake in this way. Weather. This road is becoming impassable. Let's see if I can. Okay, that did not help anything. My car is totally stuck. I like how sassy the guy in here is. Too bad he doesn't talk much. Or rather, that's the only time he talks. So, we have 7 hours of daylight remaining and we're 30 miles away from safety. See, for shelter, my car protects me from rain and keeps me warm. So, before we move, Let's see what we can find in our car by exploring. Newspaper. Flashlight. Another flashlight. So I explored the area until I couldn't explore it anymore. Now I'm gonna have to check my inventory to see what I've got. Let's start with water. Got a bottle of soda. Drink that up. Ball of water. Squirrel juice, uh, yeah, whatever that is. Oh, let's drill the rain catcher first. There we go. Now we have water. Nice. Food, uh, we have a can of beef. Let's eat that. And smoke jerky, let's eat that. Let's see our gear. We have three empty, empty cans, some basic clothes, a dry sack, ah, an area map. So the area map is a gear that tells you how far you are from safety. Without it, you're just gonna have to fumble around until you manage to reach safety. Like without the area map, it wouldn't say here on the top left corner, 30 miles from safety. You just have to guess how far you are and keep traveling. Either that or you die. Whichever comes first. Some bandages. Some bait. A broken cell phone. Useless. Throw it away. Fishing hook. We only need one. Rope. Utility bag. I think I'm going to keep the two flashlights. Um, because once one of them runs out, I'll have another one, and I don't ever need to build a campfire. Unless for heat. Let's see, got some bait. A butane lighter. Nice. So, do we still need the matches? I guess it's better to keep them around. It's two hours, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep it away. So, I slept through the night, and this is when the journey really begins. I'm gonna go ahead and travel. Um, hmm. What I usually what I usually do is I follow the places where there's water, but in this case I have four bottles of water, so I don't really need to worry about hydration. Actually, wait. Let's drink that up and collect the water. There we go. Now we have Max. Let's head on to the woodlands. We still have 9 hours. We could travel some more. Let's head to Pike Lake. This is what we originally came here for, so might as well. For now, I'm gonna gather some wood. Wood is... Oh, I found a piece of hardwood. Wood is the foundation of survival in this game. With it, you can cook food, boil water, build a shelter, get light, hunt, set up traps, 
basically wood is very very important I'm not gonna craft in the morning as that would be a waste of daylight I'm gonna go ahead and explore the area a bit So exploring the place, I found a cattail plant. I'm gonna harvest it for the edible plant part. Some berries, gonna eat them too, and some maggots. I can choose to make bait, but at this point, I don't think it's practical to have any more bait. I have a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and eat them. Juicy. I've heard maggots taste like shrimp. I've never tried one for myself, but I would like to try it sometime. Let's see, water, still full, wild, some plant fiber, let's warp, wrap it into rope, that's about it, gonna explore the area, since I have a flashlight, I can see in the dark, not, not see in the dark, I can shine on the places where it's dark, with my flashlight, well yeah, that's pretty much like seeing in the dark. Isn't it? I've completely explored the area. Let's see. I got some crickets. Probably taste like shrimp too. Some berries. More shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep uh, the night away. And it's morning. Um. Ah! Oh, I forgot to craft. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and craft. I'm gonna craft me a fishing hook, a fishing rod, and a spear. Let's see. Our inventory space is still. We we're still overloading our inventory space, so I guess we'd have to throw away some of the these wood just one okay now we can continue traveling once again there's no water so I'm just gonna follow the path we still have eight hours let's keep following the path I'm gonna set up camp here for the night on the path on the upper left corner you can see we're on the path because it's getting dark well it's about to get dark so it's night now I got some wood and I built my shelter I also crafted a rope bag to increase my inventory space where is it rope net bag increases my inventory space by four I'm gonna use the night to explore the area since I have a flashlight so we've completely explored the area and we didn't find much. Oh, my body heat's going down. I'm gonna go ahead and start a fire. Toss in some wood and drink some water. Eat those berries. Okay, let's see. Some plants, eat them. Crickets crunchy tastes like chicken or was it shrimp I don't know let's see time fi what I didn't even sleep whatever make some ropes since I didn't get any sleep the previous night just gonna rest for four hours for traveling towards water still no water and I'm officially out of water in my bottle. bottle. Damn it. I'm gonna explore to see if I can find a puddle or something. Cricket. So while I was exploring the area, it eventually turned into night. I didn't manage to find any water, but I did find some berries, which does give a little bit of water. Just a little bit. And some crickets. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets of the forest.
Since I'm running low on water, I'm gonna keep heading towards muddy areas. Hopefully I can find a puddle of water or something. Where I can collect the water from and drink. Hey, that's a helicopter. I'm over here. They didn't see me. This area is not a good place to be. I need to move to another place for rescue. Yeah, I've never been saved by a helicopter before. I don't know what kind of place you have to be to be rescued by them. So I couldn't find any water at all. And I built this rain catcher. Hopefully it will rain tonight or something. For now, I'm probably just gonna eat the edible berries to gain some hydration and munch on these chicken nuggets. Sadly, there was no rain last night. I'm 13 miles from safety. I might die from dehydration. So, I'm actually gonna keep following this muddy road. Muddy area. Hopefully, I can find a puddle of water or something. Or I'm really gonna die from dehydration. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, shoot. Fine, let's move on, let's move on. Just don't. Oh no, 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 no. I'm so thirsty. Feeling lightheaded. Yeah, I know. I passed out. Damn it. I really have no water. Probably shouldn't have drank all of that water. Any sort of edible- there we go, edible berries. Eat it. Hydration, baby. Plant fiber. Oh, it's raining! I have to build this rain catcher. Oh, collect me more water. Water, water, water. Drink! I don't have a shelter so I might die of the coldness if I don't do this. I'm gonna go ahead and build a campfire. I have successfully survived my dehydration problem. Sleep through the night in the rain with no shelter. Doesn't matter, I have a campfire. It'll keep me dry and warm. That's what they do, right? It's not keeping me warm though. Whoopsie. My body heats at 9, I don't care. I'm just gonna travel the remaining few. Gosh darn it, I must. Damn it! I'll throw in these tinders. So while I was dealing with my body heat problem, I actually nearly ran out of calories, but it's okay. We're, we still have 6 hours of daylight and we're only 4 miles from safety. With this, we can take the final step to rescue. Oh, oh, come on. We survived. Let's see. Let's see how we did. Difficulty prepared, yeah, I know. It's the easiest mode and the only mode I've beaten. beaten. Playtime of 18 minutes. We visited 10 locations. Explored 38 times. Exploring really is uh, the most important part. As it can also give you wood sometimes and it doesn't consume that much calories. But it's a flip of a coin. It's pretty locked space. Like most survival games, an ounce of luck is better than a pound of wisdom. We started four campfires, we didn't place any traps or catch any fish, as there was no need. It was just 30 miles, we could have just walked away with the food we already had. We didn't encounter any animals and we didn't have any success. Oh, hunt. 
we started with a butane lighter but we never used it as I was I as I still had plenty of matches. Well that's it and till next time.